Hello and welcome back. This time we will be doing week 3 for the Super Smash Idols. So if you missed week 1 or week 2, you can go into the link in the description to figure out what happened in those two weeks. Of course, the sheet's been updated, so if you're interested in the overall records or the stats, go ahead and visit that, which is also in the description. But out of the way, let's get straight into the battles. Hello and welcome to week 3. So, first thing I want to say is I'm a little frustrated because I already recorded all five battles and then my software decided you actually didn't record it, so that was stupid. We had some very interesting battles that happened and some quite some upsets, but I guess that's all that was deleted. And in fact, in this battle from last time, Ayumu managed to suicide four times, which was very interesting. But I guess that never happened, unless Ayumu still wants to offer that up and repeat the last time. Unfortunately, you guys get to miss that bell because it was not recorded. Isn't that great? Anyways, let's get back to the discussion. So, now we're on week 3 here. We have BB on the left and Asuna on the right. So, BB is 1-1 one and one, and Asuna is 0-2. and two. So, Asuna still looking to get their first victory here. Last time they did lose. And in my battle that should have been recorded, they, they got destroyed. But, I guess that never happened. So, we'll have to see how that goes. Alright, so... Oh, I don't know if this is Animal Crossing or not. Yeah, that looks like Animal Crossing stage here. So, we got the water on the right, so of course we don't want to be put into the water here. So far, Aim is not committed suicide yet, so... It looks like she might not repeat from last time. Now I guess it's also pretty hard to commit suicide on this stage here, so... Problem not happening. So we have to see how things go here. So far, everyone is relatively high percentage minus Shizuku so far. We have some idols trying to swim here. We had some big launch on Nico and Maki there, but of course they are fine at the moment. Oh, and Zetsu was sent flying there, but she's still fine. She received a big hit, but that's not enough to finish her. First one to die is Maki here. So it puts BB a little bit behind. Now Zetsu shortly followed. So now we're in relatively even now in terms of life here. Not so much in percentages. Well, we have two really high percentages for BB here and not as high for Azuna. So there goes Nico. Now BB's down two lives here while Azuna's only down one here. And there goes Ellie. So everyone BB has died so far while well, Shizuku and Aimu are still holding on to their first life here. So we'll have to see when they lose it. I know Cheese has been taking a lot of beatings recently. So we'll have to see how long before she loses that. So our BB's maintain are not that high of a percentage yet in their second lives here, so that's pretty good for them. Now we got Cheese who finally losing her life here, but Amy is still holding on to her life here. Much better than that performance that was not recorded. Uh, we have Aim who's currently at 132% here. Oh, no, she will not die from that big hit, but we'll have to see when she will take the big hit that will end up finishing her off. She's going up to 160% here, which is pretty high. But BB's just really, really just accumulating the damage. And there finally goes Aimu. Aimu and Az Azuna all have two lives here. In fact, everybody has two lives now. Maki looks like she will not be holding on for that much longer. She has not gotten a kill yet, so she has a minus one score, and look, she's looking to get a minus two here pretty soon if she does not change anything. Ellie gets launched really high, and Maki gets launched really high. Shizuku gets launched, and there we go. Ellie is not to her final life here, with Maki likely to follow here. Yeah, so know who's able to recover from a big hit. As she only at 95, so she can still recover some large hits here, but only so many that she can recover from. And there goes Maki, now she's at a minus 2 here. Still have not gotten a kill and down to her final life here. Ellie's taking a huge beating here. She's already at 80, 90, almost at 100 on her final life here. All the babies down to her final life here, well, everyone 
Okay, not everyone else now has two lives anymore. Shishiku finally lost her second life here. But Azuda definitely has lives to spare here. Well, BB does not. Ellie's looking to be eliminated very soon here. There goes Setsuna, who currently has four kills total. Doing pretty well here. Now she has five as she eliminates Ellie, making it a 2v3 here. We have two lives versus four lives, though, which makes it even more skewed in Asuna's favor. Maki's looking to die very soon, and sh there she goes. So Nico was able to p get Ayumu in that end right there, making it so that all of Asuna currently only has one life, but Nico is down to her final life here, doing her best to desperately carry her group who could not do much. Nico is, do is now finished as she cannot fight of 3v1. So, we actually have Azuna winning here, getting their first victory while BB falls to 1 and 2. Azuna is at 1 and 2 here as well. So we have them being evened out here. So Setsuna actually had a pretty good game here with 5 kills, which is the same as Nico got, but of course she died one more time. Ayumu actually had a pretty good performance here with 4 kills, and we had Maki who did nothing, and then Shizuku who... Didn't, still did nothing, but didn't die as much. And Ellie, who also did not have a good performance here. So, it's just three people who performed well, and that's it. Welcome to the second battle of week three. On the left, we have Azela, and on the right, we have Sinon. So, if you're wondering what had to sign on last week, they were on a bye. Currently, Azela is sitting at a 1-1 one one record here. They're looking to see if they can get a second victory here. Sinon is 0-1 since they did not participate in week two. So they only lost the only battle they participated in. So of course, Sidon is looking for the first victory here. So let's see what they can do here. Alright, we're in uh Bridge of Felden or whatever they call it. I'm not sure. But this is a Legend of Zelda stage here. So of course we don't have to worry about any hazards as I turn it off, but you gotta be careful about the edge here. On the right and the left you have a walk-up stage so people who tend to stay too close will get punished and get killed as Kana was just punished as she was too far to right and a one not so big hit ended up killing her. So Sina was able to capitalize early here putting the group of Azela really really far behind. Well, okay, so all of Azel has lost a life now. Well, Sidon has not lost a life, and never mind, they lost two lives there in a quick succession. So Azel looks like they're trying to get back into this fight here, as they were able to kill all three of Sidon very quick here. And to, they were pretty high behind in percentages, but in terms of lives, it's equal. But in a walk of age, you can always take advantage of not needing a really big hit to finish off your opponents. And there we go, Dai was able to punish her sister, pushing her off the stage, finishing her off there. Kana is down to her final life as well here, so we're still even in terms of lives here. Kana not, not, not having a great performance, as she still has not gotten a kill here. But we have Dai, who's already had two kills, doing the best overall. Anamaru just having one at the moment. Dai's have really high percentages here, as well as Hanamaru, so at any moment they could lose a life. And there goes Dai, who's down to her final life here, as well as Hanamaru. So Sidon now has a two life lead here, so Azela really needs to pick it up if they want to stay in this battle here. They could try taking advantage of the walk off, but it looks like Sidon's the one that's able to capitalize on that. So now, we currently have a two on three here, but Azela just has so little lives compared to Sinon, it's not likely they will be able to fight that. So Ruby was eliminated, but she stole a life from her teammate to make sure that they still have three players here. And Azela is just unable to fight off that deficit. Yo, having a pretty good performance here. Carrying a team to victory with six whole kills. An incredible performance. We had Kana who didn't do really anything, but Dai is still trying to hold her ground, keeping a neutral KD here. Chiga did alright, 1-1, one one, that's fine. 
and Ruby and Hanuma are doing not as great. We're only getting two kills here, but a pretty dumb performance by Sanan here. So now we have Sanan who gets their first victory while Azela moves to one and two here. Welcome to the third battle of week three. On the left we have Guilty Kiss and on the right we have Lily White. So Guilty Kiss is currently undefeated at two and zero. Well, Lily White is undefeated at 1-0 since they already had a bye week. Let's see which team remains undefeated and which team will receive their first loss. Alright, we're on the classic Marlboro stage here, which, if you know, it's hard to get kills if you especially just launch your enemy up straight into the roof. So we might be seeing high percentages here if the enemy is not smart enough to know to hit it to the right. But of course, it's... <clears throat> Sorry. Of course, as we know, this is also a walk-off stage, so you could get a pretty nice kill if the enemy is foolish enough to stay towards the right and you get a reasonable hit on them. So far, we have Rin, who's not doing so hot, even though she did really well in her first performance, where she was 6-1, I believe. But she is the first to die here, so really why has to be careful, as they are not doing as well as they should be doing here. We have getting pretty high percentages here, but of course they're only launching into the ceilings, so it's a lot harder for them to die here. Yoshiko is the uh, next to die out, so we have pretty even lies here, although Yosumi and Umi are really high percentages here, so we have to be careful because they might lose their life at any moment, assuming if they don't get hit straight up. It was like Yosumi was able to just barely live that attack because she was just launched straight up, which doesn't do much to kill you here. And again, notice me live at 220% here, so we have a lot of high percentages here. The enemies really need to learn how to hit to the side if they want to finish off their opponents. <laughs> oh, we, we got another loss of life here. As notice me was not able to stay on with this insanely high percentage here. Mari is incredibly high here at 215. Pretty incredible, but she also got two kills, which is pretty good for her. So now, all of Lily White has lost a life so far. Well, Guilty Kiss only has lost one life total so far. So we, Lily White really needs to pick it up if they want to stay in this battle here. As they are not able to finish off those members. As they're incredibly high percentages here. But if, if, if we keep them alive, then, you know, what can you do? Rand has already lost two lives here, not even getting a single kill so far. Which puts Lily White so far behind. Lily has 5 lives remaining, well, Guilty Kiss has 8. We need to see some crazy shenanigans if Lily White wants to be able to do anything here anymore. But all they keep doing is launching the opponents straight into the ceiling, which does not do enough to kill the opponents. Alright, Mari finally dies, but Riku is, is at 350% here, it's insane. She's still alive here. So Umi's down to her final life here. Notice me still holding on to two here. And Rico's still alive at 357%. How is she still alive? Who knows. But staying alive for that long is really punishing for Lily White as they look like to be just completely out of this battle so far. Any reasonable hit is gonna send Rico flying. And there we go, Rico finally dies into the 350 percent here. But of course, taking that long was just way too punishing for Lily White. Lily White's still holding on to four lives here to Guilty Kiss of Six, which, granted, not as much of death as before, they still have so much work to do. They need a lot of ridiculous kills if they want to get back in here. Those means holding on to a high percentage of 258 here. As long as they can only get sent into the ceiling, they have a chance, I suppose. There's a lot of bouncing between the ceilings and floors. We, well, we have people coming up on the roof, which means they will die really quick here. And there goes Yoshiko, who gets grabbed on top and slammed to the ground. And since there's no ceiling up there, they just straight up and fly out and die. And there goes Nozomi, who's down to her final life, and the two other Lily White members are also pretty high here. So we have five lives to three lives here, with Rico getting back up to 150% here. 
Now Rico at 200, <laughs> 250, quickly racking up percentage here. But it doesn't make a difference that much if you're just going to send him to the ceiling. Oh, there goes Rico, and she's now to, down to her final life here. And there goes Mari. We're actually down to three lives versus three lives. But we did. Lily has to be careful because at any moment they might get unlucky bounce and just die. We have Umu who's alive at 200% here. We'll have to see how long that is able to last as any reasonable hit is sending a lot of the Lily White members flying. Oh, well, Yoshiko goes out as well as Umi. So we're still two lives of two lives here as Lily White's trying desperately to stay in this battle. And they're doing it's somewhat successful, I suppose. Although they're really, really behind in percentages here. So they still have a lot of work if they want to be able to fight this off. One hit and they are sent flying, but I suppose sending flying to, to the ceiling doesn't mean a whole lot. It looks like Lee White's getting some lucky bounces and being able to stay alive here. Oh, and there goes Rin. Now Nosemi's all by herself. Can she stay alive? No, she cannot. Lily White showing some determination to stay in the battle, but that was not enough to come back and fight Guilty Kids who just had too much of a lead early on. So, Mari doing the best here with five whole kills, but overall, it's uh, everyone did pretty okay. No one really shined, I guess, behind behind the shiny person herself, Mari. So, Riku got the least amount, but she only died twice, which I guess is something. But it's only one kill though, so not that great. Rin did okay, got three kills here, as well as Yoshiko who got three kills. Welcome to the fourth battle of week three. So we actually have a two on two for once, because the two groups that have two members are actually going against each other. So on the left we have Saint Snow, and on the right we have Diver Diva. So Saint Snow is still undefeated at 2-0 and, and really just crushed the competition here. Well Diver Diva has got destroyed by the competition so far, at their record is 0-2. and two. So the question is, can we see an upset? Maybe, maybe not. In the session that got deleted, Diver Diva actually pulled off the upset, as Sada was refusing to play well. But we have to be, you have to see again. So we have a Wonka stage here, so of course we can see some shenanigans with good play here, which is how Diver Diva managed to beat uh, Saint Snow from last time, even though Saint Snow was out damaging opponents a lot here. So there we go, we have Leia who's already lost a life here. Maybe Dive Eva is still able to pull off the upset here by using good shenanigans and punishing their opponents with the walk off here. We have to see. I don't think that's very likely as Dive Eva just hasn't really been up to the competition recently. So Kana lost a life here, now they're down to two lives here. We gotta be careful not to die there, but Leia decides to commit suicide, so I guess Guilty Kiss is once again gonna try to choke here. Give the competition something to be happy about, I suppose. Perhaps Diver Diva is their kryptonite. Oh no, and it looks like I was not able to recover from that. So we have three lives to five lives here. And Saint Snow once again decides winning is not a good idea, I guess. Wow. Oh my god, this is even a bigger upset than it was from the recording. Oh my goodness. So, we have 5 lives to 1 life here. Uh, I, I'm honestly just confused. Oh, okay! I finally lost our first life here. As Sada tries to do something, I guess. To make this not the worst game ever. So, how long does she live? We'll have to see, but probably not that long in a 2v1 situation. We just have Sada just desperately holding on to life here. But there's only- and that should be it! There we go! And uh... An insane upset! Wow! Like, I know they could upset, but... This is upsetting. That wasn't even a good battle. So, Saint Snow both 
members went one and three, while Diary Devo both went three and one. I, I I don't know what else to say really. That that was that was only two minutes. That was insanely short. And well, I mean the damage given out was not that much different. It's just really poor play by Saint Snow and just falling and dying into the stage by being outside. Not not very good strategy there, but congratulations to Diary Diva who get their first victory. Welcome to the final battle of week 3. So on the left we have Printop and on the right we have Arise. So Printop is winless at 0 and 2. Well, Arise is doing pretty well at 2 and 0. So can we see an upset? Last time when I recorded it, we did not see an upset and Arise did beat Printop, but just barely so. So the question is, are we going to see that again? Well, maybe, I don't know. I guess the last battle showed me that anything can happen, and even larger upsets can happen, so... <laughs> I guess anything can happen. Arise, it's been done pretty well and stomped the competition. Well, Prince Tumps then try to keep it close, but keeping it close doesn't mean anything in the end. So, of course, if you're wondering if you why we've seen Quartz, it's because Quartz is on their bye week. Next week, we'll have Arise on their bye week. So if Arise wins, they get to stay undefeated for at least four weeks. So here we're on this very fluffy cloud stage, which does spawn that Birdman, but that Birdman is the most frustrating thing ever. <laughs> so thank God for no hazards. So we got a really big hit, and Anais is actually trailing that right now in percentages. And they're currently struggling to fight off Printop right now, but we'll have to see if Anais will be able to fight it off so far. Anais is able to recover and get back on the stage. But still, Anais is still definitely behind in percentages. Although Honoka decides to not recover from back to stage, and uh, Super Saiyan is not able to recover, which Honoka almost not able to recover, but at least she was not stupid enough to kill herself. So currently, we are even in lives, despite the large differential in percentage. So Anina and, An and Anju are both really high percentages here, looking to try to get back on the stage. But she does make it, but again, having high percentages is, is going to send you off the stage a lot here. We have Haneo protecting that bomb cloud for whatever reason. Okay, there you go. She decides to fight. How about her team? And there goes Honoka saying hi to the camera and dying there. And then we have Anju soon follow. So Honoka already lost two lives here, while both of Printump have not lost a life yet. So we have six lives to seven lives here. But maybe Kotori and Haneo might lose a life soon. They've been holding on pretty well, and Kotori's have been having a really dominant performance here. She has three kills, and she has not lost a life yet. Looks like Super Sun will not be able to recover, and Arena also died. So, Arise is at four lives here. Well, Prince is ha having seven lives here. Looks like the stage is just not bombing out very well for Arise here. And Prince is doing a great job of fighting off the opponents here. Not giving them a whole lot of room to combat. Haneo and Kotori holding on with high percentages here. We'll see how long they live, but any big hit should finish off either of them. Anju lost a life here, so all rises down to their final life for each member here. That's three lives. So, okay, so the first to complete die out is Honoka, but she's just, just gonna steal life from her allies. To make sure it stays on a 3v3 here. Alright, and it goes Kotori. Hano has not died yet, which is pretty impressive. And there she goes. Alright, Arise is trying to even out here. And Honoka died again. What are you doing, Honoka? So Honoka's just stealing lives. And now it's in, even in terms of lives game here. Honoka by herself through her. Sheer force of will made this game close, which is not something you should be happy about if you're dominantly winning. We'll have to see if Honoka decides to beat a new Aumu. Uh Yes, yes she is! Honoka lost what, five lives here? That's insane. I don't know what Honoka's trying to do here. But now Arise is definitely back in this battle. Wow, uh, we'll have to see if Haneo is able to fight off three people here, but that's just insane. 
Granted, all of them are decent high percentages, but there's nothing you can do in a 3v1. And alright, comes back and takes the victory because... Well, I guess Honoka pulled the Honoka? Is that the new saying now? So... An unfortunate performance by Honoka, who died five whole times. Five! I mean, yikes, that's, that's not good. And that really takes print up. Oh, they, they had the victory. But Honoka decided to put Arises back in the fight and also give him a lead by just losing life after life after life. I think I had a pretty good performance with 5 kills. My question is how many of those kills was Honoka committing suicide at that point. Kotsu had a pretty good game though with 3 and 2. And of course Honey only died twice and Kotsu only died twice because they did not get to get an extra life because they donated it to Honoka who threw it away. So unfortunately Prince of does not get to pull up the upset even though it seemed like they had it in the bag. Good on our eyes to stay in the game and punish the opponents and making sure that Honoka does stupid things. So Arise will be 3 and 0. And they will go on the bye week and become 4 and 0. Printum is at 0 and 3 here. So they will still be looking for their first victory. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of videos. At least I do. I find it fun. That's why I keep making them. And I will try to keep these content coming up. And hopefully. If you guys liked it a lot, you know, share it with your friends or whatever who you think might like it. I always love to see more people discussing and want to see who you think is going to win this and, and and whatnot. Maybe, maybe Print Up will win in the end. Maybe they won't. I don't know. But I think this is fun and I enjoy it, so I'm going to keep making it. Hope you guys enjoyed this kind of videos and of course more videos will be coming in the future for this as well as other different topics. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to catch you guys in another video soon.